Tuesday, August 16th, the official lookbook for the fall winter 2022 collection for Fear of God Essentials just dropped today on the website. So let's go over my favorite look by far of the entire lookbook itself. Some new things that are now posted that caught my eye, uh, my thoughts on some of them, and then two brand new colorways. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. That's right, another Fear of God Essentials video. Just a precursor, I guess, since we have the official lookbook for fall, winter 2022. That will officially drop on the fearofgod.com website on the 24th, but global retailers will have it on the 26th. And if I've learned anything, and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes, just wait until the 26th. And not only will it be easier to actually purchase those items, you'll probably receive them faster. That's not a shot at fearofgod.com. It's just, it's just reality. We have to live within the truth of what it is. But uh, initially I did a video showcasing the brand new colorways that are coming out. So coral, of course, is, it just, it caught my eye. I love it. I'm a sucker for coral, but there were two other colorways we highlighted in there, or I should say maybe three. The, not really, it's not really a true black too. <laughs> To be honest with you, it's considered off black. That was touched on, but also we had those other two colorways um, available. So one was eggshell and then the other was smoke. So we knew those four were dropping, but there are two brand new colorways. So canary being one, so just think of like a lighter yellow. So if you guys remember the uh, Mr. Porter exclusive, just think of a lighter tone yellow. So canary is one of the new colorways coming out. Also, wood and wood gives me rain drum vibes so if you remember rain drum if you were a fan of that and you missed out i guess this is now your chance to uh make up for that so it seems there are like six colorways dropping now we don't know if everything will come with this initial drop on august 24th and 26th it's usually broken up into drop one and drop two and if we're thinking about things in the past those drops are usually broken up like two to three weeks maybe four weeks apart so just plan to see something else in September if you want to drop uh, quite a bit of money on, you know, getting things. Just plan everything out. Be smart. Layering. It's a technique used in fashion that's very understated and I think underappreciated. You find it always within the Fear of God Essentials looks. In the initial video, I said, hey, bucket hats. I need at least one bucket hat from this drop. I still feel that way. I want the uh, coral bucket hat, but then maybe sweatpants. So. Here's the thing. I think that may have shifted. I still want the bucket hat, but there are two other items I definitely want. And yes, they're, they're still coral, but I want to go over my favorite look by far from the lookbook. So it is actually photo 46 of 50 and just everything about this is put together so well. It's all of the colors. It's just, it, it, they all complement each other. They go really well together. So you have the long coat and smoke, you have cable knit and coral and the relaxed sweatpants and canary. And then there's also the California and canary. Uh, sidebar, sidebar, stay tuned for an interesting video very soon regarding California's. Now, not necessarily the fact that I'm after the long coat and smoke, although I like the long coat. I think it will also depend on what is the branding on the back of it because we can't see that in any of the photos. I really like the, uh, the smoke mixed in with the canary and the coral, but that coral knit sweater. So hands down for me, the coral knit sweater, I really want that cable knit. It doesn't have any other branding really on it. And I appreciate that. I like the subtle taste there. And then finally the relaxed hoodie and coral as well. And I think those will be the three main things just up front for me. I've learned, I feel from these previous drops, a lot of items are available and you can go to various retailers, whether it's PacSun, Nordstrom or Essence, and they were also available past release date. So I kind of want to use some patience uh, when it comes to this first drop. Now, let's talk about some things I've noticed in terms of branding on these different pieces. 
I also intend sometime soon to give you guys like a rundown or I guess a ranking of branding. That means what the actual branding looks like on the uh, items themselves, you know, whether I, I prefer this one to that one, the material, the design, I will go over all of that in an upcoming video. But if you pay close attention in the lookbook, if you see, uh, let's take a look at the relaxed hoodie, right? I want the relaxed hoodie and coral. It still has the flocked smaller print where you have essentials and then fear of God underneath that. I really like that. Like I'm a bigger fan. I'll just, I guess I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. I'm a bigger, bigger fan of the flock design. If it is, uh, what we've previously seen, not necessarily the larger stacked block print being front and center across the chest. That is just my personal preference there. You relax to these. I'm taking a look at that. So you can see they have essentials and then fear of God. If you take a look at the newer style, they will actually have like the larger block print. So pay attention to that. But then there's a mix. Cause if you look again, we seem to have flock print that is a little bit larger with essentials and fear of God. It's larger. It's not the smaller print, but it's still what we were traditionally used to seeing. So he plays around with the branding a little bit, just depending on what the item is. So keep that in mind. And for most of the branding though, it does seem to be tone on tone, which I think adds a nice subtlety to it, especially with the branding being so much larger. I think it being tone on tone just elevates it a little bit. Uh, again, that's just my personal preference. I don't know how much I care for the larger block lettering and then it being a contrast tone on tone that that's just my personal thought there um so you will have a variation and then you'll have the larger e on a lot of the kids items that are available now let's also look at the fact kids have a lot more offered to them now jerry is no stranger to the look books this is like you know this is his thing now so we have little jerry in a full look here um if you're looking at 42 of 50 so he's rocking four kids okay relax sweats coach's jacket but then also denim so i think this might be the first time that kids have denim offered so if you were looking to get denim for yourself but then also for the kids you can do that and yes denim is available in both pants and then a trucker jacket for adult sizing so it's a full offering i think he said it's the most complete offering or comprehensive offering that he has and i really respect that so you can go up and down the lookbook we have different things from knit tanks different jackets uh relaxed pants i like the fact that more is offered but with more offered i think this is a really good time to practice discernment like i said first off me personally i don't intend to rush out and get everything that i may like i want to be a little bit patient there i know the uh top priority items being the coral bucket hat the coral relaxed hoodie and then the coral cable knit sweater from there i'll probably go back for the relaxed pants i want to try those i think they look really lightweight maybe a coach's jacket depending on what the branding is on the back but it looks like we have two different options for coaches jackets one looks to be nylon which is different um hadn't really expected that so i am kind of curious what that will look like and then i think we have more of the traditional coaches jackets that we've seen in the past but there's a ton out there so take a look at the fear of god lookbook on the website if you haven't uh go ahead and comment below which colorway is your favorite like again there are a lot of them. I don't know if they'll all drop on the 24th and 26th, but you have smoke, you have eggshell, you have off black, you have wood, you have canary, you have coral, you have six different colors <laughs> that might be available for this drop. Tons of different items, more for kids, more for women. <sighs> yeah. I think you're taken care of, okay? And if you are somebody that has different thoughts just in terms of the rollout itself, hey, go ahead and comment those below too. Again, I intend to have a um special video up regarding Californias because he actually teased some Californias like in Canary and a different color within this lookbook. I don't know if those are dropping, but he did tease those. But aside from that, 2000 years later, Okay, I'm in the process of editing this video and I forgot to mention the varsity jacket. I have no idea if this is truly dropping August 26th, maybe at a later date, but the varsity jacket is 
Yeah, that's something special, and who knows what the price will be. I mean, a lot of times varsity jackets may go for three to four hundred dollars. It really just depends on the leather, the material, the wool used. But that varsity jacket is super clean with the big block E. I'm sure that's a favorite by a lot of individuals looking at the lookbook. But yeah, I didn't want to leave that off. Also, we see socks. I don't know if the socks will drop, but we see socks in a number of different colors. Here's my thing with socks. I have smaller feet, so normally if socks don't come in various sizes and one of them being small to medium, socks don't work for me. So if the socks will work for you and they drop, awesome. For me, I probably have to pass. Aside from that soon, I intend to have a ranking again of my thoughts on branding over the years that we've seen from 2018 until now. So I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video, wishing you the best of luck on anything you wanna go for. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.